Hello and welcome to Country Car. My name is George and today I'm just going to do you a brief video on this 2007 Volkswagen Touareg. It's the uh, 3 litre V6 altitude diesel spec. Uh, I'm just going to show you around the car on the paintwork, uh, show you around the wheels, show you around the interior. Uh, just prove to you how um, well this vehicle is presented. So it starts at the front, as you can see you've got the front parking sensors, you've got the Xenon headlights, this lovely sort of aluminium finish uh, grille. Uh, you've got the split rim, uh, split spoke alloy wheel design here. The huge brakes up the front, you've got great tread left on those tyres there. So coming down the off side of the vehicle, no marks to the paintwork. It's got this lovely contrasting aluminium strip down the side of the car. Loads of tread on the back tyre as well. So coming around to the back, we've got these two aggressive exhaust pipes um, with a um, centre valance on the rear bumper as well as the parking sensors. I just show you that. You've got a rear hatch. You can throw shopping in there quite conveniently. Or you can open the boot completely. As you can see, huge boot on this car. You've got the uh, parcel shelf, which can be fitted like so. And then under the floor you have a space saver with a tyre compressor, with a jack, towing eye, locking wheel nut, etc. Also you have a six disc CD changer, just in there. And also your warning triangle on that side. So you've got tether points in the back of the car as well, there's this lovely stainless uh, <clears throat> kick plate on the back of the back of the car coming around to the near side of the vehicle back tyre loads of tread left on that one alloy wheel really really good condition as well just show you the, the interior the back of the car whilst we're here so you have uh, some blinds for the rear occupants which fold away like so electric windows all the kit you'd expect on a vehicle of this premium. Uh, you've got two vents in the back with individual operation for both passengers, a 12 volt socket, as well as a, uh, a centre armrest with two cup holders in the front. Seats do fold down flat to uh, give you even more boot space. Opening the passenger door. You've got a three-way memory electronic adjustable heated leather seats. Obviously glove box, it's a chilled glove box so you can keep your drinks cool in the summer. This particular car has only had one owner from new. It's got an MOT until September 2017. loads of service history with the car obviously uh, you've got the adjustable seat electric um, adjustable seat for the driver I'll just jump in the car and start it up ninety two thousand three hundred eighty two miles on the clock So as you can see, automatic transmission, heated folding electric door mirrors, you've got the gearbox settings, low range, high range, you've got a, um, a large cup holder there for uh, perhaps a big fizzy drink or a bottle of water, and then you've got an auxiliary cable tucked away in the centre um, armrest as well as more storage space that's fully adjustable uh, 12 volt socket here um, you've got sport mode and then also the manual override on the gearbox 
dual zone climate control automatic air conditioning um, front heated seats you've got sat nav big clear um, color TFT screen with even more storage at the top there the car also has the electronically adjustable steering column which uh, obviously all works you've got a sunglasses compartment there you've got map reading lights loads of kit on this vehicle document storage just there it's even got a quarter of a tank of fuel in <clears throat> so the high tax band but for that you do get some pretty decent performance 0 to 69.2 with a top speed of 126 miles an hour it's got 369 foot pounds of torque and 221 brake horsepower I think you'd agree that's a lot of car for the money at 10,490. If you're interested in this one, don't miss out on it. Please do give us a call to arrange a test drive. Thank you.